Hi everyone, these are my Kurataki watercolours which I just bought and thought I'd have a go at a Japanese animation inspired painting for my next book, The Tide. Uh, I wanted to do some concept work and uh, thought I needed to bring it to life in a different way and keep my own art fresh as I work on the next volume. Uh, so here you see me starting to lay down the drawing in pencil. I've covered the pencil drawing with a layer of frisket film. The frisket uh, is a thin film which you then cut out in order to protect certain areas of the painting and mask them off. Uh, obviously now you can mask in Photoshop but this is the way we used to do it um, and I haven't done it for about 20 years. So uh, comment below if you uh, think I'm doing it right or wrong or have any advice um, uh, or if you've never seen it before then uh, uh, be interested what you think. Here's me trying out the new Kurataki paints as I've never used them before, testing them for colour. I knew I wanted a really strong yellow and here's me comparing them to my Windsor and Newtons. And then I'm laying down the colour here with the time lapse. I've used a thin uh, layer of water to wet the page, so I'm working wet in wet. And uh, I haven't done this for a really long time, I don't really know what I'm doing, so, um, uh, but I was kind of pleased how it was coming out. You can see me working on the kappa, swimming underneath her. Here you can see me working on the device which uh, may have something to do with planetary alignment of planetide if you've read the books uh, and if you want to find out more about the books check out my website. filling in all the little critters swimming in the water. It's not only the huge demons in there. Peeling off the masking fluid that I applied, which keeps areas completely white, the original paper, which is really good when you want a strong shine or a strong contrast. And I think it really brought this sort of brass work to life. I have to say I really like the Kurataki watercolours. Uh, I've not used them before, but they have strong pigmentation. I don't know how light fast they are, so uh, if you use them then please tell me below and see how they compare. I've put links to where you can buy all the materials I used in this video. Uh, a lot of them I'm using for the first time, uh, but have a look in the link description below. And uh, any you buy from Amazon uh, will give a little bit of money back towards this video. To get it into the computer now and I did try scanning it I also tried photographing it and then I composited it together because what I wanted to do was take the watercolor backgrounds and then produce this cell animation style figure to sit over the top of it and I was really pleased actually with how it all came together let me know what you think I 
I'm planning to make huge limited edition prints of these, so please take a look at my website if you're interested. So these are all the books in the series of the Tide so far. Uh, you can find out more about them in, on my website. You'll also find a video of how I did the Kappa on Volume 1 Monster Edition elsewhere. So hit subscribe now and uh, hit the bell and leave a like if you did enjoy the video. It helps other people find it. Thanks for watching.